In this session, we'll look at how we can share files using BIM 360 Team. Now, historically, sharing files with stakeholders could be a bit of a challenge. If you use email, you can easily run into file size or file type restrictions. If you use FTP, you may experience difficulty connecting to a stakeholder's site, or they may have difficulty connecting to yours. If, however, you are using BIM 360 Team, you can easily share files using a simple hyperlink. Let's take a look. I've just launched BIM 360 Team. I'm sitting here at the home screen. Right here we can see a listing of all the projects. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and I'll select this project called Terrell Road Extension. In here, I have created a folder called Shared Files. This is the directory I want to use when I'm sharing content with people who are outside of my BIM 360 Team environment. If I select the folder, you can see that we haven't uploaded any data just yet. I'm going to bring up Windows Explorer. Then I will navigate my hard drive to find the file that I'd like to share. As you can see, this is a zip file. Just for a second, I'm going to double click on this. And from here, we can see that this zip file contains a collection of DWGs. Let's say that I need to send a good portion of my project to a hydrologist so they can calculate catchment areas. Let me back up. Basically, I've zipped everything together into this single file. I will now click, hold, and drag and drop this into my BIM 360 team environment. Once the file is uploaded, I'd like to start by apologizing for my screen resolution. Because of my screen, we can't see the file name. Now, I can see it if I hover right here. Notice next to this it says V1. BIM 360 team will maintain versioning for every file that you upload into this environment. That means that if I send my stakeholder multiple versions, BIM 360 team will maintain an audit trail for me, such that I can go back and review the evolution of my project. Just to the right of the version number, we can see this Share button. I can use this to share the file. Let me go ahead and click that. By selecting that icon, I have turned on the Share link, or the Share toggle for this file. Down below, we can see that sharing can be accomplished three different ways. Copy link, email, or embed. Copy link is the more manual approach. If I choose this option, BIM 360 team will provide a hyperlink that can be used to access this file. I can use the copy button to copy that to my clipboard. I can then paste it into an email and send that to the stakeholder. Using these toggles below, I can control the stakeholder's access to the file. By default, they're allowed to download the file. I'm going to leave that turned on. There is also a password toggle. If I choose this, I can enter my desired password and click the Set Password button to further control access to this link. Now, in this case, the password's not necessary. I'm going to go ahead and turn that toggle off. Let's take a look at the email option. This is a little bit more automated. By selecting this, I can enter the email address I'd like to send this file to. I'm going to go ahead and enter my own here. I can also type in a personal message. If we scroll down, we can see the same privacy settings. I'm going to allow the download. I'm not going to use the password in this case. Finally, we'll come down and click the Send button. When I do it, we'll launch my default email application, allowing me to further format this email before I send it. In this case, since I'm sending it to myself, I'm not actually going to complete the send. What I can do is simulate what the stakeholder would see if they click the hyperlink. I'm going to hold the Control key and click that. This will open the hyperlink using their default web browser. Note the stakeholder does not have to be a member of BIM 360 team to access files in this way. Right here we can see the name of the file, and since this file can be downloaded, we can do that using this button below. At this point I'm going to close up my browsers, and we'll return to BIM 360 team. We'll go back to the share button. Finally we'll look at the embed option. Embed allows me to share a view of this file, much like you would share a YouTube video on a blog site. I can then choose the pixel size of the embedded file, 640 by 480, 800 by 600, or 1024 by 768. Once I've selected my size, BIM 360 team will create the HTML code for me, such that I can embed the file into a blog or website. In this case, this is unnecessary for my needs. I'm going to scroll back to the top. Let's assume that I've sent the file to the stakeholder. They have successfully downloaded it. At this point, I no longer need to share this file. I can turn the sharing off by clicking this toggle. The nice thing about BIM 360 Team's share feature is that it makes it easy to share files. You no longer have to worry about file size restrictions that a stakeholder may have on their email account. You can avoid the hassle of trying to log in and upload content to a stakeholder's FTP site. Or conversely, create and manage an account for the stakeholder on your FTP site. Using BIM 360 Team, you can simply drag and drop shared files into a project and then control access using a simple hyperlink. 
Would you like to explore other Autodesk infrastructure ideas and workflows? If so, please visit the Civil Immersion blog by scanning the QR code or by following the URL listed below.